ExpressVPN and NordVPN are arguably the two largest VPN providers in today's industry. Both VPNs, and particularly NordVPN, got a bunch of updates. And so today I'll be looking into things like the privacy policy, speed, streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And not to worry, both VPNs will still unblock streaming services and fully support peer-to-peer -peer and torrenting. But this video will help you figure out which one of the two could be the best choice for you and your particular situation. Though if at any point you want to go straight to pricing or discount, Accounts, you'll find the latest coupon codes down below. All right, so starting with the privacy policy, which is arguably the most important aspect of a VPN. Both VPNs do have hard evidence to show that they indeed uphold their no logs policy claims. Both have been independently audited on a yearly basis by companies like Versprite, Cure53, and PricewaterhouseCoopers, and have shown their commitment to protecting user data by publishing the audit reports, all of which resulted, by the way, in great standing, and any potential issues were immediately dealt with following each audit. Now, both VPNs are also based in countries that are outside the 5.9 and 14 eyes jurisdiction, with Express being based in the British Virgin Islands and NordVPN in Panama. Now, it's worth noting that most VPNs, if not all, do log information, though said information tends to be aggregated data, crash reports, and usability diagnostics. So basically, things that help the providers improve performance and detect bugs or glitches. And according to the audit reports, with both Nord and Express VPN, this data never contains personally identifiable information that can be linked back to a specific user. Both Express and Nord run their servers on RAM disks rather than hard drives, which means that there are simply no physical drives for information to be stored in, and any minimal information stored by the RAM is erased with every machine reboot. So which one is more secure? I would say it's a pretty close call between Express and Nord, but I would have to give it to Express VPN because their no logs policy could not have been demonstrated any better than in the real life situation when in 2017, the Turkish government sees an Express VPN server as part of an investigation, but they were not able to extract any information out of the servers thanks to Express having not stored any information on their servers in the first place. Now, in terms of performance, it's natural for speeds to drop when using a VPN due to the time it takes to encrypt your traffic before it reaches the internet. But despite that, a good VPN will keep those drops to a minimum. And both VPNs in this case performed very well in my tests. But to sum it up, more often than not, Nord ended up surpassing Express in terms of speed. That's not to say that Express is slow, it's just that Nord is that fast when it comes to speed, and it's all thanks to the WireGuard-based protocol, which is called Nord Links in NordVPN, making NordVPN arguably the fastest VPN in the business. Now, moving on to streaming and torrenting capabilities, both Nord and Express allow for torrenting without any throttling or bandwidth limitations, so you can download as many files as you'd like without anyone ever knowing what you're downloading, and this includes your internet service provider. And in terms of streaming, it's safe to say that both are almost equally capable. Just keep in mind that Express is able to access 34 more countries than NordVPN. But I know most of you guys are looking to access popular streaming sources like, you know, the Netflix libraries, uh, Hulu, Amazon libraries, Disney libraries, and both VPNs can reliably access all of these services very easily. All right, now moving on to servers and security features. Express has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, and Nord has a massive collection of over 5,800 servers, but in 60 countries. So while Express VPN significantly surpasses NordVPN in country count. Unless you're looking for extra servers in South America, Asia, and the Middle East, Nord still has plenty of server locations for most users, especially since most people look for servers within the EU, uh, Far East, and North American regions. So about these security features, this is where NordVPN shines actually. But before we get into that, let's talk about what both VPNs have in common. Starting with the 256 military grade encryption, uh, you've also got a kill switch, which cuts your internet connection in case the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, which prevents any accidental data leak and whatnot, and you have the split tunnel feature which lets you select which applications go through the VPN tunnel and which are exempt from it. It's a pretty useful feature. Though do note that on iOS and Mac, you're not going to get split tunneling on either VPN. And recently, Express rolled out the Threat Manager feature on Windows, which improves overall security by blocking trackers and malicious websites. And this is definitely a welcomed addition since ExpressVPN tends to be more conservative with how many features they add to the VPN, since it was made to be fairly basic and easy to use. But most users won't need any more than those features, to be perfectly honest. But if you're looking for bonus features, you'll be getting plenty with NordVPN, starting with the Threat Protection, which is an advanced ad blocker that also blocks trackers, malware-ridden websites, and also protects your 
your device from harmful files before they damage your device. You also get MeshNet, which will allow you to safely share files or have remote access over the encrypted network of NordVPN. You also get specialty servers such as dedicated IP servers, double VPN servers, which encrypt your traffic twice for double the encryption. You also have obfuscated servers if you're having trouble connecting to Nord from a censorship heavy country, onion over VPN servers for Tor users, and peer to peer optimized servers for torrenting and peer to peer activities. And all of these specialty servers can, of course, be useful in the right situation. But it is worth noting that with Nord, you might be required to download another version of its application made for those in restrictive countries, which is available on the Nord website. Though Express will require nothing at all to get it to work in countries like China, it's as simple as plug and play with Express VPN, making it the best choice for those traveling to China and all other restrictive countries. Now, Nord also offers an app kill switch, which will disconnect selected applications when the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, rather than cutting your entire connection as it is with the conventional kill switch. And finally, Nord will also give you a hassle-free way to change your DNS with custom DNS. And in terms of protocols, both have, you know, good protocols. All you're going to need is the lightweight UDP with Express and the Nord links with Nord, but you also do have OpenVPN. Now, with regards to compatibility, they're all compatible with the big four like iOS, Android, Mac, Windows. And you also got PlayStation, Fire TV, Apple TV, Chrome, Firefox, so on and so forth. And you are allowed five simultaneous connections with Express and six with Nord. And as far as the interface, I personally prefer the Express VPN interface just because of its simplicity, but NordVPN's intuitive map design is also something that I really appreciate. When it comes to pricing, I'll obviously get the best deal possible the longer the subscription plan you choose, and each VPN tends to offer promotions, discounts, or coupon codes, so I've provided links in the description down below if you're interested in taking advantage of those uh, and save some more money. But overall, Express to be the more expensive one, the lowest price you can get is a little under $8 and a half per month, but again, with a discount down below, you'll get a better price, and Nord is sort of in the middle price-wise and comes at about four dollars a month for the two-year subscription but again with the links in the description you should be able to save more and they also have 24 7 live chat support in case you'd like your refund because they do have a 30-day money-back guarantee or if you have any other questions of course you can use the live chat support all right so at this point you might be wondering out of the two which one is the best so this will depend on a few factors which i'll explain next if top speeds, download performance, and feature variety is what you're after, Nord is going to be the best choice. It's such a well-rounded VPN that basically does everything incredibly well. But if having the utmost privacy, also very high performance, a huge selection of countries, reliable functionality in China and censorship heavy countries, and absolute ease of use and simplicity, if all of that is important to you, then ExpressVPN would be the winner here. And if you're wondering which VPN I use myself, I like to use VPNs that are very simple. Express is super reliable when it comes to accessing streaming services, and it's super quick when it comes to just connecting to servers or switching from one server to another. Uh, it's the fastest VPN as far as you know connection speed, so that's why I use it myself. I just prioritize the simplicity and ease of use over the additional features with Nord. So for your situation, which one of these two would you like the best? I mean, you can let me know, and we can talk about it in the comments down below and if you're using any of these already let me know what your experience is like but otherwise thank you so much for watching the video i hope i was able to make you help a final decision or at least a more informed decision if you found this video helpful please leave a thumbs up as that always makes my day and remember to subscribe if you'd like to stay up to date with future videos otherwise thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one